I want you to tell the truth today in today's sermon, and I really want you to reflect on this. You often confuse people who are liars like me and like you with people who don't tell the truth. But what I want to ask you today is what information do you have the right to disclose about you versus what information does some total stranger have the right to harvest about you? We have major problems across America with privacy today. We also have major problems across America with people who want power over you and me today. We have solicitous people who never stop their attack. We have monstrous men who never stop their whack. And openly, we have pastors and we have others who want to take your money, but what are they taking it for? Their lives. But here's the deal. That is America. America is that of small business owners, and the church is basically a small business of God. So if I build a program on pagan life, and I convert your child to love God, then did I not do my job? But if you've got this mega church in your community, but you haven't converted people to truly love God, that's on you, not me. What I know in my experience in the past five to ten years in which I started to shift my life over to the Lord because of one woman who came into my life, one magnificent, marvelous, incredible woman, I have to tell you, I cannot believe who she's become the wife of. But in life, as in death, we're going to be accountable for the choices we make. And in life, we have to decide what is and isn't our right to know and what is and isn't our right to fake. Some people will call somebody a faker who's not a fake. But what I want to ask you is who owns a soul today? Do you own someone's soul today? Or do you only have the responsibility of your soul today? You see, your soul is who you are as an individual on the inside, isn't it? Or are you still so stupid about science that you think that the soul is just something that withers away? Most Americans have a faith, but they don't practice their faith. Most Americans claim some sort of religion, but they don't go to their synagogues or their churches or their organizations to really do their religion. We have some religions in America that are absolutely ruining America with their arrogance. And we have people across America who want power over other people that have absolutely no right to do that. So I'm going to ask you, who owns you today? Who owns your heart? Who owns your mind? Who owns your soul today? Who owns your intelligence? Who owns what you can do for your work and earnings today? Are you a slave of someone or something? Are you a slave of God? Or are you a person who just thinks the whole concept of God is rather odd. There are people like me who love spirituality, who love the Lord most high, but we're not crazy about religion because what we see the organizations don't do in such unprofessional manners that we cannot believe that they're representing God.